Here's how to make this model to show how the moon orbits the Earth and all the different moon phases. You're gonna need white air dry clay, a brad fastener, thin paper plates or thin cardboard, a thumbtack, these moon phase templates, glue sticks, and scissors. Ask a grown up to help to use the thumbtack to carefully punch a hole in the middle of each paper plate. You need a small and large paper plate, but if you don't have that handy, you can actually trace two different size circles on thin cardboard and cut those out instead. I only had a large paper plate handy, so I decided to trace and cut out a small circle to represent the smaller paper plate, and then I went ahead and punched the hole with a thumbtack. Stack the two plates or two circles together with the smallest one on top and poke the brad fastener through the holes to connect or secure them together. Make sure to fold down the legs of your brad fastener so it doesn't fall out and now your little plate should now spin on top. Cut out the moon phase images and glue around the small plate in order of when they happen. You are gonna glue them in order counterclockwise or the opposite way the hands turn on a clock and that's gonna make sense in a little bit why you're doing that. Using the air dry clay, create an earth and moon model. You can squish and roll the clay. Just make sure the earth model is a little bit bigger than the moon one. For my moon model, I actually kept the clay white and used the other end of the thumbtack to create craters and poked a few holes and the edges in there to make it realistic. For the earth, I actually grabbed some markers and tried to color in the continents and the water. You can do this while the clay is dry or you can do it while it's wet. It actually doesn't matter, I've tried both. When the clay dries, attach the moon on the larger plate outside of the small plate. I drew an arrow going counterclockwise, and this represents the direction the moon orbits or goes around the Earth. Then attach the moon to the center of the small plate. Turn the outside plate counterclockwise to show the moon orbiting the Earth in the order when moon phases occur throughout the month. This model is a helpful tool to help you predict which moon phase is next.